Hi, I'm Collier Spreen with the Avid Pro Audio team. Today we're going to talk about the Ucontrol 3.3 update and what's new. Let's dive in, shall we? The Ucontrol 3.3 update includes both support for the new iPad app called Pro Tools Control and adds VCA spill for the S3 Surface. We're going to focus on the S3 features for this video. There will be a separate video for the iPad app Pro Tools Control. Make sure you've downloaded the Ucontrol 3.3 installer link from your My Avid account and open the disk image or the zip file. Follow the prompts as it will install itself and replace the previous version of the app. Fear not, as your preferences in any soft key assignments you have made previously will be retained. Make sure your Surface has the latest, greatest version of firmware, as these are necessary to take advantage of the new features and bug fixes in the update. To do this, click on Mac or double click on PC, the U-Control icon, and select U-Control settings, then the Surfaces tab. Then just highlight a single surface and click Update Firmware. Follow the dialog box to proceed. Four important things to keep in mind while updating firmware. Make sure the power source is solid and stable. Never power off the surface during the update or try to bail out of the process. The status of the update will be shown in both the dialog box and the artist or S3 surface. And be patient, as the S3 can take up to 15 minutes to complete. Click Done when the update is complete. Repeat this drill for all your Ukonized surfaces. Note, if you're using OSX Yosemite and the firmware update button is unresponsive, See the Ucontrol 3.3 README for a link to troubleshooting firmware updates. Your S3 should update to firmware 1.1.3, and if you're using Artist Series, your Transport should update to 1.1.8, your Artist Mix should update to 1.5.4, and if you've got an Artist Control, it should update to 1.3.7. Speaking of the README, you should read the Ucontrol 3.3 README to see what's fixed and what's new but these videos will get you up and rolling quickly. The main feature Ucontrol 3.3 brings to the S3 is VCA Spill. VCA Spill allows you to quickly access or spill the specific channels assigned and controlled by a VCA fader to the S3 surface. For those new to VCAs, they're simply a group master. If you create a mix or edit group, assign tracks to this group, in my case, all the drum tracks in my session, and then assign a VCA fader to this group, then you can control the level, solo mute, or throw into record this complete group of tracks from a single VCA fader. A VCA is commonly known as a master, and the group of faders it controls are called slaves. When you spill a VCA, you're simply laying out the slaves of the VCA on the control surface for quick and easy adjustment of any slave's parameters. To perform a VCA spill on the S3, Bring a VCA fader to the surface. Double tap the select key of the VCA and the VCA channel would place on fader 16 and the slaves will appear on faders one through 15. And the slaves can be nudged or banked if there are more than 15 slaves in the group. This is called single master mode. To indicate that you're in VCA spill mode, the LED above the VCA master on fader 16 will flash green steadily until the VCA is unspilled. To unspill or pack up as I call it, Double tap the select key of the VCA master in spill mode and the surface will return to the state previous to spillage. You may also select a layout directly from the surface to exit VCA spill mode. A second technique is called multi-master mode. This mode allows multiple VCAs on the surface simultaneously with spilled slaves of a single VCA. There's a choice between either 8 VCAs and 8 slaves or 4 VCAs with 12 slaves spilled. To set the size of the multi-master mode VCA spill zone, click on the U-Control icon on the taskbar Mac or system tray windows and select U-Control settings to open the U-Control settings application. Then click preferences and under VCA spill zone, select either channel strips one through eight or one through 12. With one through eight, you see eight spilled slaves on faders one through eight and eight VCA masters on nine through 16. If you choose one through 12, you'd have 12 spilled slaves on faders one through 12 and four VCA masters on faders 13 through 16. To enter multi-master mode on the S3, press the left and right bank switches simultaneously. The bank LEDs show green to indicate multi-master mode VCAs in effect. By double pressing a VCA's master select key, the slaves will spill to the faders one through eight or one through 12, depending on which mode you've selected. To show more slaves in the currently spilled group, press bank left or bank right. To access more VCA masters, press nudge left or right. To exit multi-master mode, press both bank switches or recall any layout from the S3 surface. 
Another cool VCA spill function is one I actually had a hand in, which is recalling the most recently spilled VCA. When in normal operating mode on the console, press both of the S3's nudge keys simultaneously for the most recently selected VCA and its slaves to be spilled to the channel strips. To exit back to the previous track assignments, press both nudge keys again or double press the VCA master select key. That's it for VCA spill. VCAs can really speed your workflow by saving time searching for tracks that are members of VCA control groups. Using a layout, specifically a VCA master's layout, would give you tremendous mix control and access to every track in your session with VCA spill. Be sure to see all the videos in this series on the Avid Pro Tools S3 and read the S3 user's guide as well as the uControl 3.3 user's guide.